One man is planning a new era for an American Legion post in central Illinois. The days of, of the card playing, beer drinking posts are pretty much over. Posts around the country have been struggling to grow. Now they are getting some help from the federal government. But one post in Shelby County might not need it. WCI3's Jessica Coons is with us. Jessica, what did the president do about this? Well, Jennifer, President Trump signed the Legion Act last month, and that opens up eligibility to thousands of people. It could help posts around the country grow in size. But one I visited has already started that trend. Stewartson is the kind of village where everybody knows everybody. But about three years ago, American Legion Post 611 didn't have many people to know. Our membership was way down. Our funds were almost depleted. And uh, there was just no enthusiasm to our post. Some of the members told us we should just go ahead and close it up. And I told them, no, we're, we're not. There were just 30 members when Joe Vonderheide took over as commander. The post is set to reach 50 by the end of this year. And because of that, Vonderheide decided he needed something big to continue growing. His plan landed him here. These empty lots donated by the bank next door will soon be home to a new American Legion building. The front of the building will be facing to the south and we'll be running from east to west out here. We're trying to get a Vietnam era Huey helicopter as a landmark so when people come down Main Street, they look over here and you know, they're gonna see our landmark, then know it's gonna be a Legion post. Bank employees say giving away the land wasn't a hard sell. As far as I'm concerned, it's really what, what small towns are all about. I'm always looking for a way to support the community, add growth, um, increase, awareness for for the area um, I would love to see any new buildings new opportunities to bring people into town the goal was to stay close to downtown and they won't be moving far just a couple of blocks from their current spot it's not the freshest of building to walk into you know it's got a lot of it's, it's got a lot of age to it Sadly, it's got a lot of history, too, that we're going to lose. And Vonderheide is confident he can make the new building a destination as the Post celebrates its centennial next year. Right now, everybody's really excited about it. When I first started talking about it, you know, we had that, you can't do that type attitude, which that motivated me even more. The project will be a community effort and a chance to build a new legacy. Vonderheide hopes the new Post lasts for another hundred years. And that even then, Stewardson will still be the place where everybody knows everybody. Right now, the timeline for building is about three years, but that's not set in stone, and that could change depending on construction. Jennifer? All right, good for them. Starting that trend. Thank you. Now, the commander says one of the ways he gets new members is by getting out into the community, going to events. And there are a lot of those coming up. The goal is to raise $100,000 to pay for the new building. Right now... They're at 14,000.